I've been faking my voice for 12 years of my life, but my condition goes much deeper than just speaking. Hey, I'm Graf. Today I'm here to talk once again about my voice. We're switching gears a little bit. Somehow I'm like, I don't have nothing to talk about. And then I find something to talk about. I've talked about my interest in music on here before. I've hosted covers and I've even put out an original song. But my singing voice, also fake. As a kid, I grew up a lot around music. I mean, you hear music everywhere you go, in stores and on the TV and just on the radio in general, you hear music in a lot of places. That being said, my family took a great liking towards music related games specifically one called rock band which is kind of self-explanatory you form a rock band with instruments i grew up watching hannah montana oh. i'm sure a lot of people my age might have maybe why we're seeing so many new artists because my generation who grew up watching hannah montana oh. is now entering the same space and making music so i think i'm not alone in that for sure <laughs> i also grew up in the 2010s which was notably a time where music was very much changing and the time of its own. I remember buying Kesha's Animal on CD when I was like 10 years old and I think it's really interesting. Music is kind of a time capsule in a way but ever since I was a kid and found an interest in singing and music and all that I found myself also mimicking the singers I found myself interested in and I'm sure this is a starting point for a lot of people but I wonder if it contributed to where I am today in some some fashion. It's like not an intentional thing either. It, it just comes with so many years of being anything but <laughs> yourself. I think in a lot of ways adjusting myself to my environment has become natural to me in all aspects of my life and this included. So my speaking voice is impacted by the mutational falsetto but also my singing voice because either way I'm in the same register and since most people who are singing a song are already in their chest register for example and they're going into their falsetto for me I'm already there so I'm going beyond the point where I should be and it's probably doing more damage than necessary and as i said most people speak in their chest register and in the musical context this is the lower part of your register and part of it i'm in like a mixed point in this moment as i'm talking where i can kind of feel something but it's mostly up here still it's kind of still and you can hear a lot of fry but the falsetto is a much thinner placement so everything i'm saying is much thinner than it would be if i was speaking in, a, in my chest register which you hear come out sometimes when i'm like coughing or laughing i know someone commented like why does this happen that's this is why this happens it is also why the disorder is called mutational falsetto because the falsetto is the main identifier of it it also is indicated by the consistent usage of the falsetto and the mutational part just refers to a to change and to alter which which means i'm not using something i'm supposed to be in the way that is natural to me i'm changing something like what but okay wow it's not even my voice sometimes i just can't talk likewise when i record these videos they can be very difficult. The filming process can be very taxing. I'm sure you can hear the strain in my voice as I'm talking to this camera right now. It isn't a streamlined process for me. It comes with a lot of strain, a lot of repeating myself, a lot of that, whatever this too. <laughs> a lot of it is spliced together because of how the takes are just not existent. It's never just one cut and done. It I have to repeat myself over and over and over and usually mid-sentence or mid-take there's a crack or there's something happened and I have to retake it. Insert footage! Show me in the getaway. Dying for me to be worth the mercy. You can just me just not earth. I see a flea in my hand. No man's land or flea. This one my light, this one Move to stone scraps to the afterworld It's my life too much to ask for Human materials <clears throat> It's all that's up to you No, it's all that's up to you And never I'm just gonna end that there I'm over it
It's just frustrating because I'm taking something that shouldn't be as much work as I make it out to be. Just simply talking to a camera or singing into a microphone, right? That's a simple task, right? And then on top of that is I have to retake things. I'm putting double or triple the amount of effort into something that I'm still not 100% proud of because in some fashion, it's still representative of the thing that's holding me back. That being said, it's something I will rip myself to shreds over because I do care about it a lot. And I will sit in that little booth of until I am literally unable to talk and mentally at my limit. What I'm getting at is there was a point when I kind of didn't want to put anything out and didn't want to make anything, musically speaking, because I was so concerned about my voice and I was like, okay, well, I need to be fixed or I can do this. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to die someday. I might as well express myself as imperfectly as it may be. It would have been a very long time before I put anything out because of that internal monologue. And then this could apply to more than my voice. It would always be something that I would find like, you know, I would fix this one thing and then the next thing would be a problem. And then the next thing would be a problem. And then I would never be satisfied. That could also apply here. I also fear that when I do change my voice, that I would just like lose the ability to do things again. And I would, or I would have to relearn it or I would just hate the way I sound and it would be a whole other hurdle of insecurity to deal with. I also remember sitting in class at one point when I was like a kid and my classmates were singing a song and in my mind I was like, yeah, I'd like to sing this song too. But what if I sound like sh what if they make a comment? What if, you know, it, it's been a thing that's stuck with me for a very, very long time. And it's just a consistent frustration that I live with where I can't communicate. It's very limiting to live with. It's annoying to even talk about it on here because it's like, well, I mean, it's it, I can just fix it. I can just stop doing it. And I've had people in my life literally tell me like, you can just not do that. It's getting to the point where it's like, but I'd argue it's worse when recording like covers or songs or whatever because then there's just a higher pressure when I'm recording vocals for a song, for example, than I am sitting here talking to a camera about my problems. I mean, I can, you know, f up my voice all I want, but I don't know. I'm very hard on myself in every corner of my life, but specifically here. It's exhausting. It's frustrating because it's like, I care about this, but it's also draining. By the end of a filming session, by the end of me filming this video, I just smacked my mic. I'm going to not want to film another video for this is why I never post. I mean, it's fine. I could talk to my friends just fine over a mic for hours. I will sound like chalkboard. I will sound like absolute sandpaper. And I won't put so much of a hard pressure on myself to be. I don't think I ever leave something feeling good about it. I don't finish recording something and think, I sounded so good in that. Or I or recording the song going, I, I that was so good. Like I sounded amazing and totally didn't crack my voice 700 times at all. I do eventually come back to it and I do appreciate it later on. That's a long time after. In the moment, however, I will poke, pry, tear apart every little syllable, sound, crack, like it's sound of air even. I, I'm so, it's just limiting to have my method of expressing my feelings and then also being limited and expressing my feelings like, because of things that are in and out of my control. I mean, it's, it's physically in my control, mentally out of my control. I did have a moment recently where I did exercise my other voice for like four hours actually i think i took some advice from this one video i watched it was like i think it was like a seminar i'll link it down below for anyone who's interested she talked about practicing it with like different groups of people like people who are within your close circle are going to be the most difficult working your way out of that is probably the best place to start so strangers just... and then maybe like friends and then yeah you know strangers just... You know, I think we're kind of there. Besides the one job interview I had where I did attempt it and it was an absolute mess of a time, she couldn't understand what I said. I will never step foot back in that store. But yeah, as I said earlier, this is the place I'm in right now. And by the way, this is what I sound like. And so the things I make, the music I make will be reflective of that. I think it would be more disingenuous to try to present myself in a different stage of life than I am in. I hope to make more music, more covers, but I'm just focusing on other stuff at the moment i feel like it's a thing that i really want to like commit myself to and so when i'm not in a space where i can fully be present in it i don't try to half ass it i feel like it, it would come out worse that way if i if i did if you want to listen to the music i put out i'll link it down below check it out if you want to or don't but yeah that's all i have for today thanks for watching as always i appreciate it a lot if you want to see more from me like the video subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think thanks for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye um, it's her